Right, I'm going to share something with you at home. At the moment, my whole body is tingling. It can either be that my pants are too tight or that our latest celebrity guest arrival is imminent. Find out which of those it is as we introduce today's Celebrity Challenge. Just for the change, I thought I'd give today's celebrity a really difficult challenge. And uh, what better game to test his skill than Wipeout 2097 on the PlayStation? Tearing around in a futuristic spaceship, my contestant has two laps in which to secure first position before he crosses the finishing line. A host of special power-ups are available to help him on his way, but make no mistake, it's accurate steering above all that will secure victory. Now, we're very lucky tonight to have a special guest who comes from a show that gets even more ratings than us. We get 75 million, they get 76. Please welcome Red Dwarf's Danny John Jules. <laughs> welcome to the show, Danny. How you doing, man? All right? Well, sir, well. OK, listen now, Danny, uh, you've been playing a cat in Red Dwarf now for, is it six series or seven series? It's seven now, yeah. Wait, when's the new series back? Uh, January. In, in January. Oh. Were you working with the same people for so long? Yeah. I mean, do you still like each other? Uh, no. No? No, no. We, no, we get on actually very well. Uh -huh. um, you know, obviously, it gets a bit, uh, you know, under each other's hair sometimes. Hair is very important to me. Oh, yeah, Danny, and me too. Now, the hair, your hair on the show as cat is fantastic. How'd you get the hair like that? Uh, well, the first four series, my hair was processed, which is uh, sort of the equivalent of a perm, really. And uh -huh. uh, the last three, I had to wear a wig because I cut it all off uh -huh. for another play. Could you give me the name of the wig guy? Because I've got this. They said it made me look like Brad Pitt. Well, it's not quite working, Dan. <laughs> Actually, who made my wig again? Um, oh, oh, good. Wig, wig. Mm, I can't remember. Wigfield. Wig, Wigfield. Wigfield. That's it. Wigfield wigs like I knew it. there was a gag somewhere. <laughs> I forgot it. It was written on my wrist. <laughs> okay. Right, while I get on the phone now to my ex-wife, if you want to see how Dana John Jules tackles Wipeout 2097, join us after the break. <laughs> Uh, Red Dwarf Danny John Jules is our special guest tonight, and now Danny is about to pit his skills on a Wipeout 2097. Driving me around the bend just for a change is Dave Perry. Dave, is there any truth in the rumour that when you take your bandana off, your hair is even bigger than Danny's? Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just a rumour. I don't really want to. Uh... To, to reveal any trade secrets. But it's but, certainly bigger than mine. But we've, we, we've been using the combs in the, in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> now, any tips for Danny, Dave? Yeah, with this one, I mean, Wipeout was an excellent game, but the problem was when you hit the sides, you instantly crashed, it slowed, slowed you down. With this one now, when you hit the sides, you can keep on going, so don't let that bother you. There's also a turbo thrust you can get at the start, and I've seen Danny practicing that in the green room. If he can get the turbo thrust right from the off, he's going to get away to a good start. OK, now, most of the time when celebrities come on Games Master, they are, quite frankly, appalling. We do have to say that Danny is a bit tasty. This is one of the most difficult celebrity challenges we've ever had. Danny has to basically, quite literally, come in first place in an almost like real life type situation. Best of luck, Danny. You have two laps to achieve first place. Start your race. Off goes Danny in the bottom right. Turbo thrust, he this. got it. He got turbo thrust right from the off. That's oh, like what's up you can get on Mario Kart there, Dave. Yeah, That's similar it, kind yeah. Of yeah. Very similar kind of thing. Right. Okay, bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see the speed he's going at. Underneath there is an energy bar. If he hits the wall or stuff like that or gets blown up by rockets, that will go down. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see his position. He's 10th just now. We want him to come into first. Dave, what would you recommend he should be doing just now? Well, what he should be doing is, is just taking these corners very, very carefully and just getting all the power-ups he can, using them, getting the, getting the other end, getting the enemies off the track and out of his way, because he needs to be around fifth position at the end of this map if he's going to do this challenge. OK, these little blue arrows I can see, is that like the first game? Are they speed-up pads? That's right, the blue arrows are speed-up pads, and then the stars, whatever colour they are, those are the power-ups you get, the power-ups you show on the top centre of the screen. At the moment, he's got a turbo, so on a straight, he's going to get an extra burst of speed and whiz past his opponent. OK, he's in sixth place. Oh, no, he was not sixth, but he's smacked right into the wall. He's getting electrocuted there, Dave. No, this is a new feature. This is like an F-Zero on the old Super Nintendo game, and he'll power up, that'll charge up his energy back up, but it is the slower way around the track. OK, we've done one lap, he's in seventh position, that is lower down the order than Dave said he needed to be to come first. He's really going to have to put out all the stops here, Dave. He is, yes, and he's got it all to do as well because he's chosen to use the steering wheel, which does make the challenge much harder than if you use the joypad. He's got it balanced on his knees, so he really has made it tough for himself. Unless, of course, you have incredibly sticky knees. 
He's in fourth place now. There's, uh, there's not a huge... How about halfway around the lap here, Dave? Can he still do it? He's in fourth. Um, he's going to be... He really needs the computer to make a lot of mistakes if he's going to do it. He's coming up to this guy. He should take third. But I don't think so. He's got all the pilot on. That's good, because the computer will be flying for him for a little bit. That's putting him into second place. OK, this is second. We can't be too far away from him. That's the guy in front of the screen. He's going to the finish line. He's jostling him. He's jostling oh! him. Oh, he's taking a corner. He is probably on the worst pedal imaginable. So, Barry John Jules finishes in second. Oh, man, I could smell his aftershaves. <laughs> <laughs> Commiserations, Danny. Now, it was a great, a great second lap. Dave said he, he thought you should have been in fifth position to, to do the challenge. You went through the first lap in about seventh place. Yeah. How did you make up those positions then? Well, I was lucky. I had about three guys in front of me. Um, autopilot took me past those three, which left me in second place. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I, it was a bit of a shock, really. And then I sort of got confused and then realised there was only one guy in front of me. And... Um, by then it was a bit too late, I ran out of time. And another couple of seconds, I think I would have had him. Now, the other thing I noticed, but I didn't notice it at the start there, but you put your sunglasses on to yeah, do the challenge. Yeah. Why was that? Well, I was used to practicing it in the green room and there was no <laughs> glare, but when I came here, there seemed to, I had light in front of me and one to the side, which was putting a bit of glare on the screen. It just took off the glare off the screen, really. Uh -huh. Okay, note to the uh, producer, we will have to try and dazzle the celebrities more yeah. subtly. Dan, uh, we have to think you've exposed us. Yes. For the charlatans we are, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for coming on. I'm sorry you won't walk away thank with you. the Games Master Golden Dawson, uh, but best of luck with the good series of Red Dwarf. Yes, thank you. And I hope you don't fight too much. No, that's all right. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's special guest, Danny John Jules. <laughs> OK, now it's time for this week's feature, that part of the show that viewers everywhere are already calling this week's feature.